Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on Fedora Linux 41. First to open any web browser, then go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. See here on 26 September 2024, PostgreSQL 17 is released. PostgreSQL is world's most advanced open source relational database. Click on download, click on Linux, then click on Red Hat, Rakia, Alma Linux. Click on here. See here, the PostgreSQL M repository currently supports on RHL, Rocky, Kalma, CentOS, 7R, 6, 7 and 6 only, Oracle Linux and Fedora. Okay, so Fedora, it supports on Fedora. Next, see the versions. See here, we have the versions from 12 to 17. Select that 17 and select the platform. See, we have the Fedora versions from 39 to 41. So, we can install PostgreSQL 17 on 39, 40 or 41. So, select 41. See, then select the architecture. See, okay. Then, these are the commands needs to be run to install PostgreSQL on Fedora Linux 41. So, copy these commands one by one. Copy. Open terminal. Click on terminal. Paste it. Hit enter. So, go to this path and verify new tab paste here repo rpms fx86 see here we don't have anything so copy this one then give sudo dnf install hyphen y then paste that link Hit enter. Now install PostgreSQL 17. sudo dnf install PostgreSQL 17 hyphen server. Hit enter. See, it is going to install PostgreSQL Server 17, okay, and these dependencies, okay, type and hit enter. Let me explain you, see, this repo is not there in this directory, so I have taken the repo of the, go back, 40, then I have executed this one. Okay. I will keep this command in the video description. Now where is the status of first SQL server? So hit enter. See post SQL service is not started. First we have to initialize the database. Copy this one. We have to quit control L, paste it, hit enter. Then start the PostgreSQL service. sudo systemctl start PostgreSQL hyphen 17. Hit enter. Now verify the status. See PostgreSQL service is running. Q to quit and it is disabled. So we have to enable it by running the same command sudo systemctl. Enable PostgreSQL. Hit enter. Now verify, 
see postgres equal service is active and running and enabled go to quit now let us connect to postgres equal server sudo su hyphen postgres psql see we have connected postgres equal server and see here the version psql 1700 it is the version of the psql version not the postgres sql server version so to verify postgres sql server version we have to run the select version see we have installed postgres sql 17 and federal linux 41 the first step after connecting to postgres sql server is we have to set the password for the soap user that is backslash du which is used to verify the list of the users see we have only one user that is postgres which is the soap user so set the password for this user alter user postgres with password then provide the password we have successfully set the password the this postgres user now verify list of databases see we have these three databases let us create a database create database after schools again if i see new database is created let us switch to this database and create objects see you are now connected to database after schools as user postgres so create a table in this database create table Verify list of table. See here, we have created a table in, in public schema. Let us insert some data into this table. Insert one more row. Now try to insert one more row with the same S number. This will throw error. See, error duplicate key value violates unique key unique constant. So, if a column is defined with primary key, it won't allow duplicate values. So, we have to give unique values for the S number column. So, see, now we are able to insert data. Okay. So, let us verify data from this table. Student select. Are uh, from student. See, we have inserted these three rows, but it retrieved all the values. If you want only the particular column values like SNM from student, we have to give like this. But still, if you want to get only SNM value for the column, for the S number value of 101, so give the same with where condition. Where SM equals to 101. See, we got the this file. Okay. Let us create a user by running the command create user James. Let us verify again. Okay. See, new user is created. Now, if you want to find the process equal conf fund which way conf file, just you show config underscore file this file contains postgres equal server level configuration information and this is the location if you want to verify the hba conf file so hba underscore file hba means host based authentication this file contains authentication rules okay until now we have performed these actions on psql client we can also connect to postgres equal by using pg admin and dbover I kept two links to install pgadmin and dbver and federal linux. You can go through them and you can install them. So to install pgadmin, you have to go to pgadmin.org. It is just a GUI tool to connect to PostgreSQL. Click on download, then click on RPM, then see here, we have the commands. Okay. For Fedora, we have to run this command. After that, we have to run these commands. Okay. And the other tool is db ever db ever 
dot io see dbr community is a free cross platform database tool for developers admins and list and everyone working with data it supports all popular sql databases like mysql mydb postgresql sqlite and apache apache fml and many more okay so here we have the dbr community and dbr pro we have to download this one and you have to install it as i told you go to the link provided in the video description and install it then i have shown how to connect to postgresql okay the last step that i am going to show you exit from this user exit from this postgres user then we will see how to stop start and restart postgresql on fedora linux 41 sudo systemctl stop postgresql iphone 17 hit enter we have stopped postgresql service successfully just verify again status see postgresql services stop to quit to quit also we can identify by trying to connect to postgresql sudo su hyphen postgres psql c we are unable to connect why because postgresql server is stopped exit from this user because we can't start with postgres user until we have granted the privileges to the service exit now start hit enter verify again see postgresql service is started you want to restart and do the sudo system ctl restart postgresql and also see here these are the processes running for the postgresql service and this is the bin directory and this is the data directory okay so hit enter verify again see postgresql service restarted or started one second ago you took it so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgresql 17 on Fedora Linux 41. For more PostgreSQL tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.